Um, well, I started because it was something that a teacher at my normal school said that it, I should start. Um, because I had lots of energy and I was always good in school, I liked what I did, um, and I spent a lot of energy into that. So they said that perhaps music would be a good way to, to take some energy away from school, to slow me down a little bit and to give me a different perspective. Well, I think it did give, take a little energy away, but it didn't slow me down at all, that's for sure. <laughs> No, I'm, I don't come from a musical family. Um, nobody actually in my family has ever played an instrument, so it's a little bit of a new experience for all of us. I think um, every performance is, a, first of all, a learning experience and great fun. And if it's not that way, then you should not play the piano. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do it, uh, because it definitely has to be something that you enjoy being on stage. So. And some pianists and some musicians actually don't enjoy being on stage and are scared of it. Definitely not me. I do like it and I am happy to be on stage. <laughs> well, in, in many ways, you feel very comfortable at ease when you're with an instrument. You try to find its strengths, you try to find what it can do best, uh, and then just use those as much as possible. So in my case, it really feels like, like an extension of your body, and in the sense you sit down, it's comfortable, you feel that, that what you do comes out effectively in the instrument. <laughs> Not really a burden. Um, I think it's great to be acknowledged, to be accepted and to be noticed and that's something which I appreciate, I'm happy about but not at all is it a burden and not at all do I dwell on it it doesn't definitely make it to my head, so to speak. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, not really. Um, as far as, you know, if they know who I am or how they feel about my playing um, but I definitely try to make them feel that not uncomfortable and try to make them feel that I, I first of all, I like what I do, and second of all, I, I don't feel that, that they have to like me in the sense, you know, I, I try to make them feel comfortable with music and comfortable with what I do. So, in a sense, I do care, uh, but it doesn't really matter to me in the grand, grand scheme of things, so it's hard to answer. No, I mean, it's, it's something that, that of course, for example, before you're going on stage, sometimes you're a bit nervous, but, but definitely n not something that I experience uh, frequently uh, and not something which I'm afraid of. Well, that's one of the greatest compliments I've received, not because it's from the New York Times, be but because that's not my goal to make every note you know, important, but really to make everything that I say have meaning and to make everything that I say uh, speak to the audience, not to say, okay, well, I'm going to play this really well and then this I don't really care about. I think everything that you play should have some kind of a story and should have importance, the equal importance within you. So I'm, that's, it was a great, it's a nice compliment. <laughs> Because Bach's music is so pure, there's not any added emotion. Um, you go into Bach and you're presented almost with a blank sheet with something that you can do, uh, with something that you can start. And that's the, the wonderful thing about Bach, is that there's so much to see inside the music, to find, to, to explore, to, to develop, um, to listen to. There's so many different musical lines, so Bach is really great, great composer. Chopin's music, on the other hand, I think um, speaks for itself and has its own language. I think whenever somebody hears Chopin, not knowing it's Chopin, they right away can identify the composer because of his unique musical language, because of his style of writing, and that's something which is uh, special to Chopin. I think it, it really enables people to understand his music in a different way.
it's a responsibility by all means, um, and I, I feel that way. Of course, some people will cancel, like uh, some artists will cancel when they feel that they're not ready. But I always prepare, and I feel that's that's a responsibility. It's not a burden; it's a responsibility. Um, the the thing to know though is that I always choose my performances, and I know when I want them and when I do not want them. So. Um, I choose where I want to play and what I want to play and how much I want to play. So I do have months, for example, when I play way less concerts, like in December I'm only playing two. Uh, and that's for a reason. I have, have some time with my family, we go there together, uh, we're in Europe, we get to spend Christmas time together and, and that's really a choice that I make for myself. One day, well, if, if I'm practicing, if I have a concert, um, Let's say I'm traveling, then I try to practice between two, two to four hours when I travel uh, per day. Uh, that doesn't really include rehearsals with orchestra, that's separate. When I'm at home, I practice much more. I practice perhaps eight hours uh, a day with distractions, with interruptions. Uh, of course, I have to answer emails, I have to answer the phone, I have to uh, do things like pay the bills. Uh, but absolutely, I try to do as much work as possible at home and then to do less when I travel so I get the experiences that I want to. And so I get the chance to visit the cities and so I'm not stuck in a practice room. I, I've downloaded the app but it didn't really work for me. <laughs> it does, it's a, the tactile response doesn't, doesn't work for me. Yeah. We're working on some, some a, a larger project right now, um, to me that requires a little more time. Uh, so I think the next album will actually be released in 2015, so a little bit of time. But, you know, I'm, if you look at it from a different perspective, I'm already, I'm 18 only, and I already have three CDs, um, all of which I think are very uh, solid, have something to say, and have some very interesting repertoire. So I'm in no rush at the same time to release a C CD. Of course, uh, Deutsche Grammophon would really like me to release a CD next year already, but um, I've delayed it and I've said, you know, there's really a, a gra greater scheme and so we're working on something which is a little deeper and again speaks in the same line of what I've already done. <laughs> it's a hard question, you know, when I was a kid I always, for example, dreamt, dreamt of being a doctor um, and I think I, I would be good uh, with people and that's one of the main things I think when you're a doctor is to be able to make them feel comfortable. Uh, I'm not quite sure but right now I'm, I'm also very interested in business um, and I'm a very technical person, I was always good in math so I like that side of, of things as well. I, I'm not sure, I definitely would find my thing. Um, I was good in many things and I, I enjoy it many things. And even now, if, if for whatever reason I would have to stop playing um, or the concerts would stop, where I'd get you know, sick, I'd break my arm or something, you know, God forbid, of course, but if it did happen, then I don't think I would be uh, disappointed. Uh, maybe I'd be sad a little bit that I can't do what I really love, but at the same time, I think I'd find something else that I can still be happy in life. Um, I have many other hobbies. I, first of all, I, I swim, I ski, I bike. Um, I read a lot, um, I watch many, many movies, um, I adore traveling. Uh, it's really, after performing, it's my second favorite thing. So I do both of them a lot, so it's really great. Um, and I enjoy aviation a lot, uh, learning about that as well. So there's many things. Uh, I'm absolutely not limited at all.